Okay. Okay. Well, it's okay. Anyway. All right. I'm going to have to edit this, so we'll do the best we can on it. This is my first time actually trying to do a video of this nature. I went and bought a uh, battery, and I intentionally bought a dead battery from the junkyard. I paid $10 for it. I planned on uh, doing an experiment uh, with the alum where, where you take a lead acid battery and change and put alum in it and uh, change it over to lead crystal battery. Well, things didn't quite work out the way I in intended because, uh, well, let me just tell you what I did. I uh, have a flute meter. Uh, well, yeah, uh, follow me with the camera. This is the battery right here. Now this battery, uh, best I can tell, has what was uh, bought in July of 2007. Now I hope that's correct. That makes this battery approximately seven years old. It is a uh, uh, let's see, uh, an interstate battery. It just says cranking battery. Uh, let's see. July, actually it was bought in August of 2007, uh, according to the sticker they bumped out. At any rate, I went to the junkyard fully intending on buying a dead battery. I did. I used the Fluke uh, 787 uh, process meter and tested it. It tested it at just a little over a half a volt. That's dead. It don't get no deader than that from a 12 volt battery. So I then got my uh, Schumacher uh, charger and I put it on trickle charge uh, for about three days, you know, because I understand you, you got to charge it up before you can switch it over to Allen. Well, you know, I, I had the, uh, the the tops off, and after about three days, I'd come in with my little flashlight, and I'd look down in the cells. Nothing was going on. So, after about the third day, I decided, well, I'll go ahead and jump the charge up to 10 uh, amps. And every day or so, I'd come and check it. Nothing. Well, finally, but, but. We did have, uh, we, we got up to about 10 volts. Well, I said, well, I, we really need to get up higher than that. We need at least uh, 12 volts to be able to, or th that's what I understood anyway, to, to do the, uh, the changeover from lead acid to, to lead crystal. Well, after about two weeks, I noticed it was bubbling. I'm like, yes, that's a good thing. I checked the... Uh, uh, I checked the voltage with my voltmeter and I'm in excess of 12 volts. I, I think I was around 12.6. Well, I have not had this charger on this battery for about three weeks now. Now, if my assistant will kindly move in over here where she can actually see that, well, I'll tell you what, let me uh, fix this where. What I want you to do, I want you to look, put, put the camera right there on those numbers so, so the people can see the numbers. Right now they're at zero, and I just dropped my... Anyway. Pick it back up. Now, like I say, th this has not been on the charger at all for at least three weeks. Can you see the numbers good? Yes, no, maybe so? Yes. Thank you. Now, you see right there, we got 12.53 volts. I went and bought this at a junkyard. I paid $10, and there's nothing wrong with this battery. Now, I'm going to take this battery and hook it to another battery uh, for my solar project. But there you see it. It's a good battery. I paid $10 for it, and I haven't had it on this charger for well over three weeks. And I'm happy. So, you know, please, if you like this video, click subscribe, uh, you know, share it with, with your friends, 
if you got any comments please leave comments down in the comments area if you've got any of uh, anything to tell me that maybe I might do to, to, to do different maybe you think I've done something wrong let me know please anyway this is uh, Jeff signing off